Hi, if your child struggles with the emotional control aspect of ADHD, especially anger, you'll want to stay tuned. You may have tried teaching them to count to 10 and you might have found, like I did when trying to use that with my son, that what I got was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> It just didn't work. And the reason that it didn't work is that he was experiencing what we call an amygdala hijack. The amygdala is the emotional center in the brain. And when it's overloaded with emotion, it can trigger an irrational emotive response. The fight or flight hormones are secreted, the body tenses up, heart rates escalate, and it is a full six seconds before the rational side of our brain kicks in. So keeping in mind that for, especially for young children and especially those with ADHD, time has little meaning. And so how do you get them to wait that six seconds before their, uh, the rational side of their brain kicks in? Well, one way to do it is to try giving them a visualization of something more concrete and something that they can count and recall. So, um, for instance, with my son in early elementary years, we used the code word train. So we would have practiced ahead of time so that he knew what to do. If I could see that we were about to have an angry outburst, I could say train, and he knew that he was supposed to visualize and name and count Ten, uh, six different train cars from the Thomas series. So he might, you know, be thinking in his head, Thomas, Henry, uh, Percy, um, Gordon, uh, Toby. Uh, anyway, you get the idea. So he would have counted to 10 and that gave enough time to break that uh, to, to let the rational brain take over again so that he could make a better choice in behavior. You could use anything. It could be Star Wars characters. It could be My Little Pony characters. It could be you know, anything that your child loves and will be able to recall even when they're uh, angry because it's something that they just love. With enough practice and reminders, they'll be able to use this technique even when you're not there and using the code word. Of course, when you're, when you're first learning this, you might share what you're doing with your teachers if it's a problem at school too, and the teacher can use the same code word at school as you're using at home. Anything that you can do like that to share, you can share with your teachers is gonna help them be that more success, much more successful at school too. Try it at home and let me know how it works for you.